Okay, good evening everyone. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet everybody who's watching in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and um, wherever you might be watching from, kindly uh, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast as we are getting down to the business of the day. As we're getting down to the business of the day, kindly share the broadcast in the name of Jesus. I greet everyone who's just joining in. I greet everyone who's coming in. Um, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Blessed evening, blessed evening, everyone. I greet you all tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Kindly share the broadcast. If you can see me and if you can also hear me well, kindly share the broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. Share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast. Kindly share the broadcast. God bless you. I see uh, those who are joining in from Dubai. I see you. I also see those who are joining in from uh, Namibia. I see... Um, Kenya as well is online. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, so it is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. It's yet another a wonderful moment that God has afforded us, you know, to come and be together on this live broadcast. This is not um, our official, uh, 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 this is not our official uh, this is not our official, um, kindly let me know if you can hear me well. Please let me know if you can hear me well. Come and be together. Okay. Kindly let me know if you can hear me well. If you can hear me well and if you can also see me, uh, please indicate. Indicate if you can see me and if you can also hear me well, just indicate in the comment section. Um, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Uh, keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Uh, keep on sharing the broadcast. I see you. Uh, Tiniko, God bless you. Tlingiwe, uh, I see you. God bless you. Uh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Let's share the broadcast. Let's share the broadcast. The revolution continues. It's good to see my brother, Brother Raf. Uh, Raphael or Jerry, it's good to see you, my brother. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. So kindly share the broadcast. Kindly share the broadcast as we are getting down to business. Kindly share the broadcast uh, as I'll be introducing the, the topic of the day and the reason why I am coming live and what I want to talk about tonight in the name of Jesus. There's been a lot of people um, who have been sending me testimonies, uh, testifying, um, testifying over what God has been doing in their lives ever since we started the Back to Christ movement, ever since we started the, um, the whole episode of exposing the truth and uh, bringing the truth to light uh, for people to know. Uh, bringing everything that is happening behind uh, closed doors, behind the curtains, a, a underground, and all that. So a lot of people have been testifying. A lot of people have been coming through uh, to thank God for what God is um, uh, using me to do even in our time. Uh, I believe that it's not by mighty nor by power. Uh, but it is by the spirit of the living God, for I believe that um, 
uh, I won't be able to do what I'm doing if uh, the Spirit of the Lord is not upon my life. If the Spirit of God is not upon my life, I won't be able to do uh, what I'm doing right now. For the Bible says, uh, the wicked, the wicked run without anyone pursuing them. But an honest man is as bold as a lion. Many people have been asking me, where are you getting this boldness from? Um, what's happening? Who are you working with? But I want you to know that the scripture uh, makes it very clear that uh, those who are honest in their words, honest in their works, honest in everything that they do, they are as bold as a lion. That is why I have so much boldness in uh, everything that I'm doing. I am not shaken by anything. I'm not moved by anything uh, 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 because I know that greater is him that is in me than the one who is in the world. Greater is him who lives in me than the one who is out there in the world. So I want to know, I want you to know uh, wherever you are that this is the revolution. This is the revival. We are bringing this revival to all nations. We are bringing this revival uh, to all the African nations, Africa will be affected by this revival. And I want you to know that this year, 2020, we are bringing down all the prophetic, uh, 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 occultic uh, uh, groups. We are bringing them down in the mighty name of Jesus. We are shutting down all the prophetic tuck shops, all the prophetic spaza shops. We are shutting them down this year in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to know that we are not stopping uh, 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 at anything. We are not stopping at anything and nothing is going to stop us for this is a movement. This is what God is doing even in our time in the name of Jesus. I was just, uh, I was just uh, 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 surprised and laughing uh, uh, during the day when I was just going through some comments of some people uh, uh, who have been prophesying my death. Uh, people have been prophesying my death. A lot of people uh, pastors, bishops, prophets uh, coming on Facebook, uh, going on YouTube, uh, telling their followers that they see J. Israel in a coffin. Listen, the fact that uh, these people that I'm exposing are charlatans, are robbers, uh, 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 they are thieves, they are murderers, it doesn't mean that they are going to succeed in murdering J. Israel. They will not succeed. And all your prophecies you are directing them to the wrong place. Those are actually not prophecies. You are not hearing from God. Because you cannot uh, uh, try to defend your, your, your false prophet or your false prophet who is your papa by uh, 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 coming up to say, Oh Lord, by coming up to say, J. Israel is going to die simply because the Lord is saying that he must die before he contaminates the body of Christ. What about the contamination that, is, uh, 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 that has been happening all these past years? Mm -hmm. How many people have died because of the contamination that has been done all these past years uh, 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 by the false prophets, by the charlatans? Who is going to kill them for all the contamination that they have done? So your prophecies are null and void. They do not carry water. They are porous. You might as well just take your prophecies and uh, 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 go and give them to other people who are hungry for those uh, funny prophecies. Uh, so I want you to know, uh, keep on sharing the broadcast, keep on sharing the broadcast, uh, keep on sharing the broadcast. As you know, I always come live from time to time. I always come on this uh, uh, account from time to time to give you an update, to also let you know of what is happening, how things are going. Uh, 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 and to talk about whatever that we have to talk about and to clear some certain issues uh, that are burning. Uh, just like today, I have a very, very burning issue that I want us to clear. Just comment with a hashtag wherever you are. Comment with a hashtag. Hashtag false prophets must fall. Just comment uh, with that hashtag uh, wherever you are watching from in the name of Jesus. Just comment with that hashtag. Just put the hashtag False prophets must fall. False prophets must fall. Just put that hashtag uh, on the comment section. Uh, uh, just add the hashtag on the comment section. Yeah, the Bible says the righteous are bold as a lion. So all this boldness that we have, 
all this boldness that I'm carrying. I'm not carrying such boldness because I'm trying to settle some scores, but I'm carrying, I'm carrying this boldness because uh, 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 when you know that you are doing what you are doing with all honesty, with a clear heart, a clear conscience, a clear spirit, you will do it uh, without fear. Without fear, you will do it without fear. So God bless you. God bless everyone who's coming to join. God bless everybody who's joining in. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast as we are getting uh, ready to get down to the business of the day. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Uh, keep on sharing the broadcast. Comment with the hashtag false prophets must fall. Put that hashtag uh, in the comment section. False prophets must fall. That is, a, 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 I believe that... A, what God is doing during this time, what God is doing right now, during this lockdown season, during the moment, the time of the lockdown, what God, God is busy cleaning the church. God is busy cleaning the church. I see a lot of people coming through to say, oh no, let them grow together, let them grow together. Oh, not, not now, not now. The, the, the theory of growing together will not apply. Not in my time, not now, not as long as I live. So, yeah, false prophets must fall. That is the hashtag. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast as we are getting down to the business of the day. As we are getting down to the business of the day, keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing it. Keep on sharing it. Keep on sharing it. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Keep on sharing it. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Uh, Dr. Akinola, I see you. God bless you. I see you. I see you. The Lord bless you. Where you are joining from. God bless you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. I see Sheila. God bless you. Sheila, God bless you. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. I see Esenat. Evangelist Paul. Uh, God bless Paulo. Evangelist Paulo. God bless you. God bless you. So guys, keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Keep on sharing it. Keep on sharing it. Keep on sharing it. This year, we are leaving no stone unturned. I'm telling you, this year, we are leaving no stone unturned. We are dealing with issues and we are dealing with uh, matters, taking them from even right now. So, no stone shall be left unturned in the name of Jesus. No stone shall be left unturned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No stone shall be left unturned in Jesus' name. So keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast as we are getting ready to get down to the business of the day. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. I have a lot that I want to talk about. Uh, I have things that I strongly believe they are going to be of help to the body of Christ. Uh, they are going to be of help to everyone who is watching right here in the name of Jesus. As I'm starting this broadcast and as I'm uh, just taking it easy and uh, making sure that I move with you uh, bit by bit up until we climax to a point where I'll begin to explain some certain things and some stuff that I, 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 I really want to share with you today. Uh, I want to start by um, uh, asking a few questions. You know, um, I want to start by asking a few questions a few questions of uh, interest, a few questions of interest. Uh, I just want to start from there uh, as we are going uh, bit by bit in this broadcast. So if you're just joining in, I welcome you uh, to this broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. Share the broadcast as you're joining in uh, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to start from a place where we'll begin to talk and I want us to have a chat. 
I want us to have a chat about uh, these things that have been happening in the church for a very long time, for the longest time, uh, 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 these things have been happening. I see Milton says, I felt pain. I felt your pain today. Say, I love you, man of God. Thank you so much, uh, Milton Osea. Uh, uh, God bless you. God bless you. So, as you all know, I posted something this morning uh, on Facebook. I, po I posted something on, 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 on Facebook this morning. And uh, the document uh, that I posted on Facebook today, um, I believe it's not, a, it's not a private document because it was also posted on the... Uh, it was also posted on the on the group, sorry, on the uh, uh, on the account of this uh, so-called South African Union of Churches. So I received a document from the South African Union of Churches, and I'm re as, 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 as I was receiving this document uh, from the from the South African Union of Churches, the document was uh, 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 written as follows. I'm going to read it out loud to all those who didn't have. Um, to all those who didn't have time to uh, get hold of the document, I'm going to read it. It's a document uh, that was sent to me, uh, 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 to my email address, which is uh, info at jisrael.co.za. Uh, and the reference uh, in RIE, South African Union of Churches, uh, slash uh, J Israel. Uh, point number one, the above matter refers and advise that we act on behalf, we act on behalf a uh, South African Union of Churches. Already there's, a, there's an error on the letter. Already there's an error on the letter. It was supposed to be uh, we act on behalf of South African Union of Churches. It was supposed to be we act on behalf of. They forgot to put an off, which uh, makes me question uh, 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 the, the, the legitimacy of the attorneys that they are trying to use uh, 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 against me. So the point number two says, our instructions are that you have engaged in an unceremonial campaign to tarnish a uh, wrong spelling of tarnish. Uh, the good character and reputation of its member, Alf Lukau, being the leader of Alleluia Ministries International. This is the letter that I received from the uh, 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 South African Union of Churches. Okay. Point number three, our instructions are further that you have previously been reprimanded and by your subsequent conduct chose to ignore advice. I cannot be advised by a by an organization i see point number three they are saying that i ignored their advice hence our client's letter to you dated 29 june 2020 i cannot be advised by a by a by an association by an organization by a group by a a, a group of people or rather an organization that seeks to a uh, you know uh, that seeks to, uh, what do you call it? That seeks to protect uh, uh, criminals. I cannot be intimidated by such. I cannot be intimidated by such. And also, I cannot be advised by an organization like that. So the next time you, you want to give advice, go and give advice to where advice is needed. Where I'm sitting and from where I'm standing, I do not need advice from any organization that is out there to protect charlatans who are masquerading as prophets, who are masquerading as pastors. I will not take advice from such illegitimate, uh, uh, bogus organizations like the South African Union of Churches. Yeah, so that was point number three. And then point number four, say kindly note that this correspondence serves as a confirmation of our client's friendly advice and demand that you cease all activities, consequences which may directly or indirectly harm the image of the aforementioned uh, 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 church or leader, a leader or the church that he leads. Number five, we trust that you will find the above in order, failing which we hold instructions to take appropriate legal actions against you. This is a document that I received from the uh, so-called South African Union of Churches. 
that is represented by one a puppet a, 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 a puppet of the Jobek pastor. If you go on his Facebook page, I try to look them up on Facebook, trying to look for this uh, South African Union of Churches. Uh, when I was uh, 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 trying to look them up, I realized something. I realized that uh, their Facebook page, their Facebook page, which is SAU, uh, SAUC International, is a page that is full of uh, the Jobek pastor. From, begin from the top to the end, it is just the Jobek pastor, same time. He's always uh, uh, posting the Jobek pastor. After doing such nonsense on Facebook, and then you come to me and tell me that you are protecting your, you are protecting your members who are part of your uh, 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 bogus organization and who are part of this, uh, 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 you know, they don't know that what they are doing, they are actually adding fire to, a, to, to you know, they are, they are adding fire. They are, they are setting themselves on fire with what they are doing. They must stop sending me these funny documents and allow me to preach the gospel as I am preaching. The other time, one of their little puppets again, uh, one of their little puppets uh, 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 went out on Facebook. Uh, one of their little puppets, their small minions, one of the minions went out on Facebook and uh, 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 created also a YouTube channel. And on that YouTube channel, he was telling me that Jay Israel, I'm coming after you. I just looked at these boys and I said they don't know what they are. They don't know what they are doing. They do not know what they are doing. If only they knew what they are doing, they were going to stop this nonsense of uh, uh, trying to go out there uh, to create all these things. They are setting themselves on fire. Me, I've got nothing to hide. I've got nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide at all. I've got nothing to hide. That is why I'm, I'm, I'm as bold as I am. So this Alfred guy, uh, uh, this Alfred Modise guy, who, 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 who says he is the, he's the president of the South African Union of Churches, you might as well go and jump because whatever that is trying to do, uh, uh, it is not going to work. And tonight, I want us to discuss and I want us to uh, uh, get to a place where we are going to have a proper discussion and I, I'll make you realize uh, uh, some of the things and I'll bring some stuff that I'm going to bring to you right here. Today, I don't care. I don't care who's going to say what. I don't care what they're going to say after this. Today, I'm mentioning their names. I'm calling them out one by one. All the criminals who are involved in the scams that are happening in the Johannesburg Church, I'm calling them out one by one by names. And I don't care what they're going to say afterwards because I believe that what I am doing is, the, is an assignment from God. What I'm doing is an assignment from God, and I also believe that uh, 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 what I'm doing right now, what I am doing right now, is what God wants me to be doing at this very moment. And there is no element of lies in anything that I'm going to speak on this platform. There is not even one lie that I'm going to speak on this platform. So uh, uh, they must get ready because... As I told you last time, that this is an organized, this is a well-organized uh, 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 institution. A well-organized institution, they've got uh, systems that they've put in place. Systems, they've got systems that they've put in place. Systems that they've put in place to deceive people. Systems that they've put in place to make sure that uh, 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 people are well deceived. And today I'm going to spill it out on this broadcast. It is just the beginning, by the way. It is just the beginning of what is still yet to come. I tried to keep my peace. I tried to hold my peace. But I realized that uh, uh, I'm dealing with some people who are trying to... Uh, 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 who are trying to, 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 to probably think that they can outsmart God and they are better than God. So this, uh, 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 this uh, organization that sent me this letter, first and foremost, first and foremost, before I say anything, before I say anything, first and foremost, who are you? Which... Uh, 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 which churches do you represent apart from the Johannesburg Church? Which other pastors are you working with apart from your master, the Johannesburg pastor? I'm asking uh, this uh, 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 South African Union of Churches. Which churches do you represent? Which prophets do you represent? 
which pastors do you, which apostles do you represent? And you represent them as who? Who are you to say you are representing these people? The last time I checked, the only legitimate organization in South Africa that has got the power to be doing whatever that you are claiming to be doing, a, a, a Mr. Alfred Modise, is the South African Council of Churches that is working together a, 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 with a lot of pastors in this country, a lot of legitimate pastors, sound pastors, pastors who are carrying a sound doctrine, a sound gospel. Before you continue with sending me letters, because you might as well uh, forget and smile, you will never get a response, an official response from J. Israel. You will never get an official response from me. I will never, ever, at any time, give you an, a, 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 what do you call it, an official response. You will not get it from me. Not at any given time. I know that after this, you're going to send another document again, and you will send another document again, since you are saying that you, 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 are, you are proceeding with the, with the legal uh, uh, whatever uh, 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 that you are trying to do against me. You might as well continue. Bring all the lawyers you want to bring on board. Bring, as soon as you bring, first and foremost, I am even questioning the integrity of the, of the, of the law firm that you are using uh, against me. You have not done your proper research to see whether you are defending. If you are even born again, this law firm that has been used, if this law firm that has been used against me right now by this uh, council of churches, uh, by this uh, union of churches, if this law firm consists of people who say they are born again children of God, unless you are Satanists, then I'll understand. If you say you are born again, if you say you are children of God, and you send me such a letter, I know it's business to you. To you, uh, this law firm that was used, it is business to you. But before we even go down and before we even ask a lot of things, if you say you are Christians, if you say you are Christians, why would you allow yourselves to be used by this bogus organization, by this wannabe organization that is claiming to be uh, representing pastors who are not known in this country? That is number one. Number two, why would you want to uh, 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 defend an organization an organization uh, uh, that is uh, 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 standing to protect criminals. Criminals who are masquerading as pastors in the body of Christ. Why would you want to uh, protect such a, a, an organization like this? Why would you want to protect an organization that is uh, protecting... Uh, 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 this criminal must be arrested. This job bag pastor, this is a criminal. He must be arrested. He must be put behind bars because this thing that, uh, 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 we are, we are, that we are talking about, we are going to talk about it right here. He must be arrested. He must be sent to prison. He must be sent to jail. He's a criminal. He doesn't deserve to be uh, carrying the microphone and standing on the altar. He's a criminal. He's not a man of God. He's a criminal. He's not of God. He is not of God. I see a lot of pastors who are coming out to try and defend him, uh, saying, oh no, J. Israel, you're causing confusion in the body of Christ. I'm not causing confusion in the body of Christ. I'm not causing confusion in the body of Christ, but I'm bringing order to the body of Christ. I'm bringing order to the body of Christ. Someone who asks you, who asks me, so who are you to bring order to the body of Christ? I am just a nobody. I am just a nobody who got tired of uh, everything that is happening in the body of Christ and decided to speak out because it seems as if nobody is, uh, 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 nobody is speaking out. Those who claim to be, the, to be the bishops, like your Alfred Mudise, he's an old man. He's not a young man. He's an old man. He claims to be a bishop. He claims to be an elder. He claims to know a, 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 a much more things than I know as a, as a young boy, you know? He must be the one who, who, who should be speaking out the way that I'm speaking out. He must be the one who should be coming out to say, guys, let's bring order to the body of Christ. Let us bring order. Listen, everything that I'm going to share with you tonight, it is going to be proof. It is going to be proof that this Jobek man is a criminal. This Jobek man is not a pastor. He deserves to be thrown in prison. He must be, he must be behind bars. Just after the, 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 the Lazarus uh, uh, resurrection uh, uh, stand, 
He was advised. He was advised to leave the country because uh, he was afraid that they were going to arrest him. He was afraid that they were going to arrest him. And he was, af uh, he was advised to leave the country. He left the country for close to two months. He was not in South Africa for close to two months. The wicked run without anyone pursuing them. But the honest in hearts or the righteous are as bold as a lion. If he is righteous and if he's honest in his heart, why did he run away from South Africa for two months? And there were people who traveled, uh, there were people who traveled, that was last year. Last year around uh, May, if I'm not mistaken. There were people who traveled from uh, United States of America coming down for IVP. They were coming down for IVP and they came, they attended an IVP and they were told that the man of God is in prayer. How do you go for a prayer? How do you go to France and you say that you are in a prayer mountain in France? What prayer mountain is in Europe? And they were told, no, the man of God is in prayer. The man of God went uh, for fasting and prayer. That time he is uh, 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 there in France and enjoying life. And people have paid uh, uh, thousands and thousands of U.S. dollars just to come and sit down here in uh, 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 Jobek, thinking that they are going to find uh, 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 they are going to find help, not knowing that they are coming to a scam. Not knowing they are coming to a scam. A lot of people traveled uh, for, for that IVP. Some of them were asking for their refund. Some of them were asking this and that, and they were told, "No, the man of God is in prayer. He is not a man of God. He's a criminal. That one." He's a, he's, that one is a criminal. Yes, I said it. He's a criminal. He's a criminal. This time around, I want you to know, I am not like your normal, uh, your normal small boys that you will call and you'll say, oh no, please keep quiet. Take $10,000 and keep quiet. No, never. Never, never, never. Nothing can silence me because I'm doing what I'm doing from a place of conviction for the souls in the body of Christ and I'm doing this for the church. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm not doing it for myself. So first things first, I want to address this uh, bishop, this Alfred uh, uh, Modise bishop, and I want to let him know and I want to put it on record that you are a, 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 you are a nobody. You are not recognized, you, Mr. Alfred Mudise, you are not recognized in any legitimate organizations that represent pastors or prophets in this country of South Africa. You are not recognized by anybody. You are not recognized. There are no churches that you represent in this country called South Africa. You do not represent any church. So stop trying to be a puppet. Stop trying to be a lap dog trying to be a puppet, trying to go... Uh, 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 we know you're on payroll. That is why you're doing what you are doing. You're on payroll. Let me take you back. Let me take you back a little bit. Mr. Alfred Modise, the one who is busy sending me uh, uh, all these uh, 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 funny uh, 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 lawsuits that you are trying to send to me. Let me take you back. When Lazarus was resurrected in that church, you were not there. That's number one. Laz the day that Lazarus was resurrected in that church, you were not there. Even myself, I was not there. I was at the uh, uh, airport of Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, getting ready to catch a flight to enter Namibia. That's where I was in February, after spending almost the whole month in Zimbabwe with my family. Mm -hmm. You were not there. I was not there. And then afterwards, after everything happened, I came back. Uh, uh, I spent some time. I, I think I spent like a week in Namibia. After spending a week in Namibia, I flew back to South Africa and then I went uh, uh, to Johannesburg. I went to Johannesburg. When I went, in, uh, when I went to Johannesburg, I abandoned my church that I was leading in the Eastern Cape in East London. I abandoned that church to go and do damage control of the nonsense that was done uh, 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 right there in Johannesburg uh, uh, throughout the whole resurrection uh, uh, thing. I'm the one who picked up my phone for the very first time to call the funeral parlor that, uh, 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 where they were claiming that uh, Lazarus was, uh, 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 was kept for three days. It was a lie. Lazarus was not kept. In fact, Elliot, let me, let, let me, let me stop uh, beating about the bushes. Let me stop beating about the bushes. Let me stop beating about the bushes and saying Lazarus, Lazarus, this. In fact, Elliot, Elliot, when Elliot was resurrected in Johannesburg, 
They lied and they said Elliot was kept at a funeral parlor. I'm the one who first called the funeral parlor. In fact, the owner of the funeral parlor. I called the guy. I know him by name. I will not mention his name. I have his phone number. I called him. And then I said, listen, how are you doing? I would like, I would like to meet up with you so that we can negotiate and see how we can. Why would, why would I want to negotiate with a funeral parlor, knowing very well that Elliot was kept in the funeral parlor. Why would I want to negotiate with a funeral parlor like that? Knowing very well that Elliot was kept in the funeral parlor, why would I be picking up my call? I mean, the line that I was using was a, was a telecom line. The line I was using to call the funeral, the, the owner of the funeral parlor was a telecom line. So we can go to telecom and retrieve all the conversations that I made with the, uh, uh, with the, with the owner of that uh, funeral parlor. Yes. So all these people were going on social media, gallivanting and trying to say things they don't know. You better stop saying things you don't know because you are setting yourselves on fire. You don't know what you're getting yourselves into. I abandoned East London. All the people who are watching me from East London now remember very well that last year, as soon as I came back from, uh, 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 as soon as I came back from Namibia, I went to Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe, I went to Namibia. As soon as I went, I came back from Namibia to this country. They know very well that I disappeared in, uh, uh, I disappeared in, in East London for close to a month to two months. I was not, East, uh, I was not in East London. I think I only attended once or twice Sundays, one or two Sundays. What was I busy with? I was busy trying to clean up the mess of uh, uh, Elliot. I was busy trying to clean up the mess of Elliot that was caused by the uh, uh, Johannesburg pastor. I'm ready to speak about what I'm speaking about on any platform because I know that this is the truth. I still have the conversations in my phone, the conversations that I did with uh, 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 the, the, uh, the, the, the boss, the, the, the boss of that funeral parlor. And that I tried to negotiate with him, and I sat down with your pastor. I sat down with your pastor, the Johannesburg pastor. I sat down with him at his house, the one that is building in Santin. We sat down there at his house in Santin, and he said to me, Son, listen, try to negotiate with the owner of the parlor. You know, offer them whatever amount of money that they would like to be offered. I picked up my phone again. I called the friend of the funeral parlor. I call him Elder. He's probably watching right now. I said to him, Elderly, please. Elderly, please. Can you please talk to, a, 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 talk to the owner of the funeral parlor and let him know that whatever amount of money that they want, we are willing to give to them. I have proof. Whatever amount of money that they want, we are willing to give to them just so that they can just be on our side, you know, on this, uh, whole, uh, on this whole Elliot story. I'm not coming out to speak nonsense. I'm not coming out to speak things I don't know. There are fake accounts that they've created. There's this one called Pastor Ben, the one who was, a, a, the one who was responsible for the Elliot a, a resurrection. The mastermind behind the Elliot resurrection, his name is Pastor Ben, Ben Mwepu. Look him out on Facebook, you'll find him. That is the mastermind behind the Elliot, uh, uh, the, the Elliot uh, uh, resurrection saga. He's the one who planned it. Pastor Ben is the one who went to the funeral parlor and he bought the coffin. Working together with the sister of the Jobek pastor. Working together with the sister of the Johannesburg pastor. The, she's the one who was in finance. I'm talking about the sister who was in finance. She's the one who released money and gave money to Ben to say, go and buy the, 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 the coffin. This guy called Elliot was kept in a house there in, uh, 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 in Lindhurst. This guy called Elliot was kept in Lindhurst. That is where he was. That is where he was racing. All the dying and everything, the opening of the mouth and everything, he was, he was, uh, uh, that's where he was kept. He was kept in Lindhurst. I said, Pastor Ben, I see somebody said, uh, Pastor who? It's Pastor Ben. It's Pastor Ben, Pastor Ben Mwepu, the one who's married to a certain lady who's in the choir called uh, Benny Mwepu. Those, that guy is the, I'm not even sure if the wife is aware that this is the work that the husband is doing in the church. 
As soon as Elliot was resurrected, the police were investigating the matter. The police were investigating the issue. There were investigations that were going on eh, 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 everywhere. There were investigations that were going on everywhere. She was working together with another lady, eh, eh, this Ben, Pastor Ben from Congo. Pastor Ben from Congo was working together with another lady called Brenda. They were working together with a lady called Brenda. It was Ben and Brenda who were the masterminds behind the Elliot Resurrection Saga. It was Ben and, 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 uh, 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 ben and, and Brenda. Those people must be found and they must be questioned. They would tell the whole truth of what really happened to Elliot. What really happened uh, 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 afterwards. Where is Elliot? Those two people will know what happened to Elliot. And as I'm speaking like this, I'm calling upon the CRL. I'm calling upon the CRL to do a proper investigation uh, uh, to this uh, issue. I'm calling upon the CRL to do a proper investigation into the matter that I'm talking about right now. They promised, the CRL promised that they were going to call a pastor, a, a Lazarus. They were going to call the Johannesburg pastor to come and sit him down so that he can explain what really happened with that Elliot saga. Up to now, they have not yet called him. Does it mean that maybe he paid his way through? Since he is able to pay anybody, uh, 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 since he thinks that he can pay anybody uh, uh, for them to be on their side, on his side. So I'm telling you, <clears throat> I'm telling you, this is the reality of the matter. They must find Ben, number one. They must find a lady called Brenda, number two. Those two people disappeared soon after the Elliot a, 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 a saga. Those people disappeared after Elliot was resurrected. Ben went back to Congo, and Ben is now in charge of the building project that is happening in Congo because your pastor there, your Johannesburg pastor, yeah, your Johannesburg pastor is building a house in Congo. He's building a house in Congo. He's renovating the house in Congo. And he's got another house he's renovating here in Santin. Using which money? He's using church money, IVP money, all the monies that they're using to scam people. He's busy building. And now Ben went to be in Congo to be in charge of that a building project that is happening in Congo. Yeah. So I'm telling you, there are people who are actually confirming what I'm saying right here on the comment section who know the truth as well. People who are, who are, who are, who are, bringing, who are coming out to comment, they know the truth. So Ben must be found. Brenda must be found. I'm talking about Brenda from Zimbabwe. She must be found. Brenda ran away and she went to Zimbabwe. A, 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 a ben, was a, 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 a ben escaped and he went back to Congo. Soon after the resurrection, a, a miracle that took place. There in Johannesburg. You know? That is the truth. And listen to this. If what I'm saying right here is a lie, then God must judge me. If what I'm saying here is a lie, the judgment of God must come upon my life. If what I'm saying right here is a lie, then the judgment of God must come upon my life and God must judge me severely. The same day of the resurrection, this is what happened. The same day of the resurrection, you can ask the security guards who were the security guards on the day of the resurrection who were, who were working there at the church. The same day of the resurrection, this is what happened. The ladies who were, who were accompanying Elliot and Elliot and everybody and everyone was involved in that a fake resurrection miracle. They went back to that church around 11 p.m. in the night. Go and interrogate the media crew of the Johannesburg Church. Interrogate the media crew of the Johannesburg Church. They will tell you the truth. Around 11 p.m. of the day of resurrection. 11 p.m. of the day of resurrection. The day of resurrection. 11 p.m. The whole crew. The whole crew of the Elliot a, 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 a movie, they went back to church around 11 p.m. And they sat in the green room to give testimonies. They sat in the green room and they were recorded by the, by the media team. They were preparing for the West. 
preparing for whatever that was going to happen after the whole miracle uh, uh, thing didn't work out well. They recorded uh, 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 the testimonies of Elliot, the testimonies of everybody, even the, the woman that they claimed was the wife. That was not the wife. Those people don't know each other. They have never met anywhere. They do not know each other at all. You see? <clears throat> so they went back. And then everything was recorded. They recorded the testimonies. Interrogate the media crew. Go there to the media crew. Interrogate a guy called Watson in the media department. Interrogate a guy called Ciso in the media department. They will tell you the truth. They went back and their testimonies were recorded, but their testimonies were never played anyway because the miracle was fake. The miracle was fake. The miracle was fake. So anybody who feels like J. Israel is uh, trying to do, listen, this is a cleanup of the church. The church must be cleaned. It's a cleanup of the church and the church of, of God must be cleaned. Somebody tag uh, the South African police. They must uh, do a revisit. I see somebody says the CRL was paid over 15 million rands. I don't know how true is that. I can't confirm that. That, I don't know if it is true or not. I, can, I can't confirm. But I'm calling upon the CRL to do a revisitation to this matter. This matter cannot just die just like that. This matter cannot just die like that, I'm telling you. Elliot is, is somewhere and Elliot is still alive. Elliot is not dead. I'll tell you why I'm saying Elliot is not dead. Because I'm the one who paid a, 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 the Zimbabwean newspaper. I'm the one who paid the Zimbabwean newspaper and I told the Zimbabwean newspaper a, 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 that there is a rumor that I heard that Elliot is dead. And they did their own uh, investigations that they did and I think uh, uh, whatever people were paid in, in Zimbabwe just to fake uh, the death of Elliot and then afterwards, the newspaper that I paid, they published in the newspaper that Elliot dies. I have the proof. I have the proof of charts. I have the charts. I was talking to the a, a guy in Zimbabwe, the editor of the first newspaper in Zimbabwe, who, who released the first article of the death of Elliot. I still have the charts in my phone. Before he released that article of that Elliot story, he sent it to me first. He sent it to me first in my WhatsApp. I have it in my WhatsApp. And he said, Prophet, please check this uh, story and see if it is fine. I took the story. I forwarded it to the Jobek pastor. And the Jobek pastor sent it back to me. And he said, tell them to add this and add that. Tell them to remove this part. And I, I did as he said. I removed what was supposed to be removed. I did what was supposed to be done. Afterwards, I sent it back to the guy. And the guy approved. They, they published the story. They published the story. They published the story that Elliot is dead. The death of Elliot must be, must be investigated in Zimbabwe. The death of Elliot must be investigated in Zimbabwe. We want to know his grave number. We want to know his brother. We want to know his sister. We want to know his grandmother. We want to know everybody who is related to Elliot. We want to know all of them. We want to know everyone who is related to Elliot. We want to know all of them. The South Africa, in fact, the Interpol must, re, uh, uh, the Interpol, the Interpol must do a proper, proper investigation into this matter. They must do a proper investigation into this matter. And Elliot must be found. Elliot must be found. And South African police, a, a Zimbabwean police, because they say that Elliot died in Zimbabwe. They say Elliot died in Zimbabwe and they say Elliot is dead and whatnot. I want the CRL to invite the Jobek pastor. They must sit down with him and they must ask him live on television, tell us what happened to Elliot. Tell us what happened to Elliot. We want to know. Even Brenda, the other lady who was involved also in the arrangement of the Elliot story, she is there in Zimbabwe. She must also be investigated. She must also be investigated. Where is Elliot? Where is Elliot and what happened to Elliot? 
How come the the pictures of the of the of the coffin of Elliot was never published in any newspaper in South Africa or in Zimbabwe? How come the pictures of the funeral were never published anywhere? How come this thing was just published and then the next thing uh, South Africa picked it up, the next thing uh, this media house is picking it up? Because if you revisit every media house that reported about the death of Elliot in South Africa, they were not reporting a first-hand information. They were reporting hearsay. If I'm lying, then uh, 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 I don't know. If I'm, I see somebody says you are part of the movie, so you must go to jail. Oh, well, if bribing a journalist to write an article is an offense, then I'll, I'll, I'll go to jail for that. But the matter remains. All these people who are coming to comment nonsense here, keep your eyes on the ball. Don't run away. Don't run away from the main issue. Let's keep our eyes on the ball. The ball is the Jobek pastor. The, the ball is the Jobek pastor. There's a, a, a pastor, a, a, there's a pastor who drove to the gate of uh, 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 the church in Johannesburg. He drove to the church, uh, 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 to the gate of the church in Johannesburg and he parked his car outside. He came out of the car, he knelt down on his knees and he said, a, a, a pastor so and so, come out, let us talk as pastors. He was nowhere to be found. The next thing he gets into the church, he started saying, show me your church and I will show you who you are. You are nothing. Why is he not coming out to tell J. Israel that you are nothing? Why is he not coming out? Why is he sending the puppets? These are puppets. He must come out himself. These are small puppets. This uh, South African Union of Churches, these are puppets. He must come out himself to speak. L let it come from his mouth. Let it, let it come from his mouth. Let it come from his mouth. <clears throat> let it come from his mouth. <clears throat> his own mouth. He must speak with his own mouth. That, that J. Israel is a liar. He is lying about me. Then, after he speaks, then we'll start bringing out the evidence. Then we'll start bringing out the proof. Mm -hmm. One after the other. Then we'll start bringing out the proof. I see all those people who are saying, oh, why don't you post it here? I will not post it for Facebook people. I will not post it for any people who are here on Facebook because you won't do nothing, you won't do nothing for me. Everything that I have, I'm keeping it for the right time. I'm keeping it for the right time. You know? He must come out. He must come out by himself. I'm, I'm calling upon the Jobek pastor. I'm calling upon the Jobek pastor if he is really a true man of God as he's claiming to be. He must come out and speak what I'm speaking. Before I even begin to bring out everything that I know about the women who are being, eh, 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 who are being abused in that penthouse. Before I begin to bring out everything that I know about the girls who are being abused in that penthouse, about the married women who are being slept with in that penthouse that they bought for him on his birthday, before I begin to uh, uh, bring everything out, let's first of all, let's keep our, our, our eyes on this ball here. We are talking Elliot. Where is Elliot? On his birthday, they bought him a penthouse, I think, and a, a, a car or something. And then he lies to his wife. He lies to the church that is praying at the penthouse. The last time I went to the penthouse, he had wine in the fridge. Offered me some wine and everything in the fridge. How can you have wine in a place of prayer? If, is, if I am lying about this, uh -uh. you say it is a place of prayer, but you are keeping wine in there. You say there is a, it is a, a place of prayer, but you are keeping wine inside. Do you know how many women... Do you know how many women have told me that I was invited to the penthouse? Do you know how many women who were abused by this same charlatan that all of you are busy protecting out here on social media, protecting? I'm not talking about consensual sex. I'm, not, I'm talking about a scenario where a woman is lured. Things are used. Some of them are told, eh, 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 stand up, kiss me. From the blue, stand up and kiss me. Just from the blue. From the blue, stand up and kiss me. And then they started kissing. The next thing, he's touching the bums, he's touching the this. There is one girl, one girl. In fact, I think there are about two or three. 
But there's one particular one. Yeah, he said he doesn't drink alcohol. It's a lie. It's a lie. I see somebody say, Jay, they are coming for you and I'm getting scared now. Let them come for me. I'm, I'm ready for them. Let them come for me. I am very ready and I'm very prepared. <laughs> I'm very ready and I'm very prepared. Let them come for me. There's an incident that happened. An incident that happened in that third floor. There is a girl who walked into that office in the third floor, there in, in the Jobek church. These are all things where there is proof, not just hearsay. A girl walked into the third floor. A girl walked into the third floor. After, after some time, that girl walked out. In fact, she dashed out of the third floor, running, running out of the third floor. And when she was asked, why are you running out of the third floor? She said, no, this man wanted to, he wanted to rape me inside the office. He wanted to abuse me in the office. He wanted to abuse me inside the office. The lady, the lady was serving there in the church. I, the lady was actually serving in the church. She was serving inside the church. I will not mention which department, but she was serving in the church. One of the frontline people who were serving in that church there. She ran out. Afterwards, she told her family that this is what happened to her. Herself and the whole family, they left the church. Yeah. Herself and the family, they left the church after that thing happened. Is it a lie? It is true. Are the bishops not away? They are away. The bishops are very much away. All those bishops that you see him coming out with, sending their, uh, uh, coming to light to you on that uh, live broadcast that he's doing during lockdown, trying to, 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 to show people that, no, we are, we are, we are, we are together. We are, we are, we are, we are together. Let me give you one instance. <laughs> one instance that happened. All the bishops are part of this scam. All of them. All the bishops are part of the scam. They are all part of the scam. They all know what is happening and they are all hiding things there. And they will never speak out. 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 They are there. They are being abused. But they'll never speak out. I pity all those young fellows. I pity all those young fellows. The likes of uh, 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 one guy called Ciso who's been trying to come on my, uh, 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 on, my, on my platform to come and defend. I told him one time, I said, my brother, stop defending things you don't know. You, you love God too much. You love God too much. I know you. His name is Ciso. He's in the media department in, the, in, in, the, in that Jobek church. Yeah. Is in the media department. I told him straight up, I said, listen, my brother, you love God, you must save God. Uh, then he was coming out. Oh, no, 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 bro. Hey, what, what? I said, oh, I pity you. If only you knew. If only you knew you were going to keep quiet. One of the bishops there, who is the father of a guy called Watson. Watson is in the media department. Watson is the guy that many people thought was Elliot. His name is Watson. Very innocent guy, a guy who loves the Lord, a guy who loves to pray, a guy who is so spiritual, a guy who's, who, who, who's, who's in it for God and is not in it for anything. Very, 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 very innocent guy. When Elliot was raised, people wanted to kill that guy, thinking that he's Elliot, because the people were saying that they look the same. The father of that guy, his name is a Bishop Shepherd. Is there in that church, Bishop Shepherd. At one time, there was a lady who was raped in the church. There's a lady who was raped in the church, a lady that a, a, the Jobek pastor slept with. And the, and, the, and the lady stormed out, running, and, 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 and she was crying everywhere, saying, no, the pastor has slept with me and everything. The, the pastor has done this to me, a, 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 a what not. I will not mention her name. But she was slept with. 
After she was slept with, it was Bishop Shepard who went to talk to the lady to say, no, please don't, don't talk about this. Let this, end, uh, let, 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 uh, let this thing end here. Don't let it go forth. Don't let it go forward. And then after they spoke to that lady, that same Bishop Shepard, the one who comes out carrying a microphone, speaking and, uh, and, 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 and telling people that, oh, God is good. The Lord is good. Yet on the other side, he is busy bribing women to keep quiet. He, he, those women who have been abused by the Jobek pastor, he is busy going on the side, bribing them to keep quiet. That lady was paid 15,000 rands so that she can keep quiet. And she kept quiet. Up to now, the issue is gone. Up to now, the issue is gone. At one point, there was a lady, uh, uh, sorry, there was a, a, a visitor. There was a visitor who died. <clears throat> one time, there was a visitor who died in the church. A visitor died in the auditorium. And they knew that somebody has died in the church. The ushers were told, do not uh, 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 make any funny movements about this thing. They kept holding the person the person is dead. They kept on holding the person on a seat up until the service up until the service had ended. Up to the end of the service, they kept on holding the lady. I'm telling you, this is everywhere. This is not a secret. This is a public secret. Anyone who's part of this a, a, a church I'm talking about, they know what I'm talking about. They were holding her right there, holding the person. Even the driver who drove that a, a person who died in the church. The driver who drove that person to the hotel. The driver who drove that person to the hotel was told, never talk about this thing again. Never talk about these things again. That, that, uh, uh, that's what they told the driver. Do not mention this thing at any point. Anyway, don't mention this thing. Not even at any point. Don't talk about these matters. Do not ever talk about these issues. If they think I'm lying, there is proof. You know, some of these things I'm talking about here, I'm not the one who has the proof, but there are people who are carrying the proof, who are holding the proof, but they are afraid of speaking. Especially this issue of the death. It's there. It's a public secret. It's a public secret. You see? And then you get a, a funny bishop who is claiming to be a bishop called by God, coming to stand and say, we are here to say our member is untouchable. Which untouchable? Mr. Mudise, which untouchable are you talking about? Which untouchable are you talking about? Today, I'm going to outline everything one after the other, one after the other. I'll outline things one by one. One by one, I'm going to outline everything. I'll outline everything one after the other, one after the other. CRL must move into this thing. CRL must come in. The CRL must come in and the CRL must chip into this matter. The Elliot resurrection saga must be revisited. Where is Elliot? That is number one. If Elliot is not found, it's fine. But let us talk about this miracle. Let us talk about the miracle that happened. Because if there is a man of God who said, he wanted to go to Johannesburg and he just wanted to go and stand by the gate. He just wanted to go and stand by the gate and say, man of God, I hear that they are talking about you, that you have faked a miracle. It's fine. Just tell them to bring you another person so that you can raise him again so that these whole issues can stop. He never did that. After the Elliot resurrection story, Ambulances stopped going to, to church. Ambulances stopped going to church. Are you hearing that? Ambulances stopped going to church. Wheelchairs were limited in church. A lot of things were limited in that church. Too many things were limited there after the resurrection story of, the, of, 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 uh, 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 of Elliot. And let me put it on record. You can do nothing to me. You can do nothing to me. You can do nothing. Go buy the, 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 the most expensive lawyer in the country. I'm waiting for you. You can do nothing to me. You can do nothing to me. There is no way you can touch me. I'm untouchable. You can't. You can't. You cannot. And it will not happen. So coming back to the issue of this a, a, a bogus bishop 
Coming back to the issue of this bogus bishop, this bogus bishop uh, was claiming to be, to be protecting criminals. How can you be protecting a criminal? This man is not a pastor. This man is a criminal. He's a criminal. He's a criminal. He's not a pastor, this one. You can't be protecting criminals. If you protect criminals, why don't you think, why don't you, have you ever seen any legitimate man of God in the country coming to stand with that criminal? Not even one. Bishop Musa Sono in, in, in Joburg stood up and he said, this is uncalled for because he's a legitimate man of God. Pastor Ray Macaulay from Johannesburg stood up and he said, this is uncalled for. It is not a, 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 a. we are not going to, 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 to entertain such a nonsense in the body of Christ. Many pastors stood up to speak again as such. And then you, Alfred Mudise, because you are hungry, Mm? You are hungry for fame, number one. Number two, you are hungry. You don't have food in your house. You think by coming to protect criminals, they are going to give you food. Thunder fire you. May thunder strike you for trying to protect criminals. Women are trapped in, the, in, 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 uh, in this church. They will never want to come out and speak because they know that there is that guy called wise man uh, uh, Magasela. There's that guy called a wise man, Magasela, the one who calls himself the, uh, the general. You enter his office there in the third floor. You enter his office in the third floor, you find guns everywhere. There's guns here, there's guns there, there's guns there. That man intimidates everybody in that church. And everyone in that church is afraid of that guy. And that guy, he used to be a hitman. Before he was hired to work for the Jobek pastor, he was a hitman. He was a hitman. What is a man of God, a pastor who claims to be a man of God? What is he doing with a hitman next to him? Women are intimidated by that man. Women are told to shut up by that man. Women are told to keep quiet by that man. Yes, I said, I said the general, the one who's always uh, 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 wearing those uh, suits, the, the, the camouflage suits and, 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 and stuff. The one who's always coming out wearing the white suits, at times it comes out wearing uh, those things, at times it, at times it comes out wearing stuff and different things. Uh, 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 they're, 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 they're doing things together there. Yeah. You see? He intimidates everybody. Anyone who tries to come out and speak, Anyone who will try to speak against those people, that general will stand up and he will intimidate them. Because they think they run the world. They think they own the country. They think they own a, 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 a South Africa. They think they have South Africa in their hands. They think they are, they are connected to, to the highest offices in the country. That is what they brag about. They brag about connections in the country. Let us Keep the eyes on the ball. Let's get back to the, to the reality. Let's get back to the reality of, 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 of the main reasons why I've come live on this platform. I want to start off by talking about a certain woman in that Ejobek church. All those who have attended that church know this woman I'm talking about. All those who have attended that church. All those who have attended that church, they know, they, they know this woman that I'm talking about here. Her name is Totliso. Totliso or something like that. Totliso or Totliso. I have all her pictures in my tablet, you know, of all her victims from that church. Some, some traveled, they came down for one-on-one, -on -one, they came down for IVP. They were staying in the, in the, in the, uh, together with that uh, 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 woman called Totliso in her house. That is one of the main, main women who goes out uh, 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 to get information from people and then will give it uh, to the Jobek pastor. Then the Jobek pastor will come and prophesy. It's, it's a click and I'll, I'll, I'll name all of them on this, uh, on this platform. It's a click. It's a click. There are so many in that church who are working together. They are eating the money together. There are so many. It's a click. And number one is totally so. If you have been there, you know, you know the person I'm talking about. If you've been there, you know the person I'm talking about. If you've attended that church, you know this woman. Her name is Totliso. Totliso, she is one of the people who does a uh, counseling. There are counseling sessions that are done at that Johannesburg church. 
There are counseling, se uh, counseling, uh, uh, counseling sessions that are done during the week. Counseling sessions that are done during the week, and then when you get there, you meet either Clotliso, you meet a, 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 a Brenda, or you meet a Pastor Ben, or you meet a, a Minister Lerato, or you meet another one called, a Sh I think it's Chantel from Zimbabwe. She's very, a very fair lady, a colored lady. At times you go there. Uh, to record testimonies, you meet your Bishop Jackie. At times you go there to record your testimonies, you meet a Bishop TK, the short bishop, the one who impregnated Malaika. The one who got Malaika pregnant and then she started saying Malaika must abort the child. That's the bishop I'm talking about. It's a clique. They are working together, all of them. All the bishops during the week, they'll be meeting with people. Uh, people will be coming for counseling and they'll be counseling people. They'll be telling them stories. They'll be, the, 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 the people will be telling them their stories and everything. After they uh, go for counseling, then they take the information from counseling. Then they advise those people to say, come to church on Sunday. When they come to church on Sunday, then the information is given to the, to, to, you know, is given to the pastor. Then on Sunday, the pastor will come with his tablet in his hands. With all the information written there. Then he will start prophesying. Then you will start prophesying. You will start prophesying uh, standing there. Oh no, I'm seeing a person like this. You are this. And because you, you think, oh no, the pastor is maybe too high. He doesn't have access to the bishops. He doesn't have access to the prophets, or, or, or to the pastors and all those people. Yet, the reality of the matter is that these people are working together. It's a clique. They are part of the scam together. A lot of women have reached out and they've told me that this is what happened to me. When I went there, I was staying with Clotliso. I was staying at Clotliso's house. They were asking me questions about my life, about my what, about my whatnot. They were asking me questions about this. And then I got to church. They were prophesying to me things that they asked me outside. You see? Someone say, oh no, but it can't be that all the prophecies that are done and everything that happens there is fake. It's all fake. It is all fake. There was a rising of the prophetic voice that was done there. Rising of the prophetic voice. That was done there. And then he said, um, he gave, he said he's going to give a Bishop Jackie, Bishop Mike Songiso. Bishop Mike Songiso left the church. Bishop Mike Songiso left the church, the one from Namibia. He left the church after uh, his wife uh, uh, died. Then he went through his own things and then he left the church. Uh, Bishop uh, TK, Bishop Stephanie, the one who, who speaks uh, like, a, like, you know, the one who's got an accent. Bishop Shepard Gwenzi, uh, Bishop, uh, and, and the other guys uh, uh, that, that I can't remember. They were all given microphones on that day. Go and look for the video. It's there on YouTube. They were all given a, a microphone to speak. Bishop Shepard Gwenzi took the microphone. He went to prophesy to a person. You are prophesying to somebody, yet you went to the, uh, to the third floor. All these bishops, before service, they, they go to the third floor. If it is a day when they are going to be prophesied, uh, when they are going to be prophesying, a day when they are going to be given a microphone to go and prophesy, you see one, one after the other, they'll be going to the third floor. There in the third floor, you will find a screen that is facing his uh, uh, office desk. It is a monitor that is monitoring all the cameras that are in the church. Then he will, tell, he will show them, he will show the bishops, you are going to prophesy to this one. This is the name. And the information that he gives to them is information that he got from Totiso, he got from uh, Shalin, he got from uh, 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 Minister Lerato, he got from a, 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 a Pastor Ben, mini information that he got from all these people who are gathering information for him. Then he, he hands over the information to the bishops, then the bishops, they go to church, they begin to prophesy. They are all part of the scam. If you talk about that woman who's always holding the microphone, Bishop Jackie, she's part of the scam. Whenever that the man is not available, she's the one who goes there to, 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 to think. She's the one who stand there and she'll begin to prophesy, oh, I'm standing in my father's shoes. You are lying. You're not standing in your father's shoes. Your father is fake. You're not standing in your father's shoes. You are not standing on anybody's shoes. You are standing on a scam. It's a scam that you are standing on. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah. 
during the service, if you look for Minister Lerato or Pastor Lerato during the service, she'll be going around taking pictures, taking pictures. You think she's just taking pictures for herself, yet she's taking pictures to go and show his master upstairs. That, okay, the one that I, I gave you information about last week, she's sitting here. The one that I gave you information about, she's sitting here. And then you'll see another one called Busi as well. Busi is another one also, Minister Busi. She's another one. She will come there. Minister Busi is the one who's responsible for buying uh, anointing oils. She will travel and go to uh, China and, 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 and go to different places. And then they'll come before service. She'll be one of the people who will be sending uh, uh, some information. Oh, no, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. This is what is happening here. This is what is happening here. It's a click. It's a click. It's a very big click. It's a very big click. And they are working together. They are working together. And then you, because you'll be gullible, you get there, you say, oh, no, it's a very big church. No, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very big church. No, there's no way that this can be happening. It is true. It's dirty. I'm calling upon the CRL to revisit the issue of Elliot. Let them call the pastor in question. Let them sit him down. Let them ask him, where is Elliot? What happened to Elliot? Can you take us through whatever you were trying to explain on your TV platform? Take us through what are you saying? What is it that you are saying about Elliot? What are you saying about this matter? How did it happen? How did you find yourself praying for a man who is claiming to be dead? Okay, we hear you. You are saying that, uh, you are saying that when Elliot arrived in church, he was alive. And you even said, he's sweating, he's alive, he's breathing. Okay, how do, what were you doing when you were doing those things like that? He must be questioned deeply. A deep questioning is required. When he was doing this on top of Elliot, when he was doing this on top of Elliot, and then he, he touched him, and then he touched him again, and then he said, Elliot, rise up. What were you doing? They must ask him in full. He must explain what he was doing there because if they say it was a, it was a fake miracle or they were set up, they must explain why did you pray for a man yet you knew it was a setup. All those questions must be asked. All those questions must be asked. They must be asked. Then all those questions must be asked. And then after Elliot was resurrected, you took the coffin, you put it in the church, you even took your left leg, you put it inside the coffin, you stood on the altar, and you started saying, my name is so-and-so. What were you doing? What were you doing? What is it that you were doing? He must explain to people. If they say that it was fake, just like the information they were, they were circulating just a few days ago, because a few days ago, they were saying that a, a J. Israel is the one. I'm seeing the fake accounts that they've created. And I know that Ben, Ben is, is, is responsible. Pastor Ben from Congo, the mastermind behind the Elliot resurrection, is the one who is responsible for that a, a fake account that they have put out there that is busy p a, a speaking a, a lies and speaking nonsense in my name. Together with that, that, uh, with, with that uh, 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 other, other puppet, called a, a JP, JP Cabasso. That's a puppet, that one. They gave him a microphone to come and preach the other day. He stood there and he started, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 the Bible says in, the, uh, uh, in Corinthians, uh, in, the, in Corinthians, he, he couldn't speak. But what he knows is to go on social media, going, uh, going to defend and attack people and, and to talk nonsense. They give him a platform to stand on the altar, come and say something, he can't say something. He can't say anything. He can't say nothing. He can't. He can't. So all these questions must be asked. When you took Elliot inside the church and then you gave Elliot a seat and you were celebrating, if J. Israel is the one who set you up for this miracle, if you are a true prophet, why didn't you see that J. Israel is setting you up? Why? Those are questions that are supposed to be asked. Those are questions that are supposed to be asked. Yeah. That guy called Pastor Ben Mwepu, he must be brought back to South Africa. They must question that guy. It's not even, that's not even all. That's not even all. 
Pastor Ben is the one responsible for wheelchairs that are kept in the second floor in that church. All the wheelchairs that are, that are brought out and then people sit on the wheelchairs and then they jump afterwards. Eh, 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 Pastor Ben is the one. Pastor Ben is the one. Pastor Ben is the one who is responsible. Mm -hmm. Pastor Ben is the one responsible for the wheelchairs. The wheelchairs, the fake miracle of wheelchairs, Pastor Ben is the one responsible. The wheelchairs and everything, Pastor Ben is the one who is responsible for all those wheelchairs. Pastor Ben is the one responsible for going around and uh, I I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I cannot come and sit on this live broadcast with 1,600 people watching me to come and lie. Am I out of my mind? Do I not have better things to do? Do I not have better things to do? I've got better things to do. There is a guy who actually sent me a message. One guy sent me a message. And I can actually say, I believe this guy who sent me a message. Let me try to look for the message that this guy sent me. He sent me a message last night. Uh, and in that message, he was appreciating me for the work that I'm doing. This is the work of God. To all those who are saying, J. Israel is being used by the devil. You are misinformed, my friend. You are very much misinformed because what I'm doing right now is the real work of the Most High God. This is the real work of the Most High God. So before we continue and before we... I, 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 sorry, I'll get back to that message. Before we continue and before we start to try to uh, uh, go around and talk things that are not there and everything, let, let's come back. Let's come back. Let us come back here and let us begin to do an evaluation of this thing. Is this a church or it's a business center? Where all those who are ordained, where all those who are ordained to be bishops are working together with this charlatan from Johannesburg. All those who are ordained to be bishops. All of them, they cover up the rape, they cover up the women abuse, they cover up the, the, the a, a one time there was a lady who was not fully paid, uh, she came there for a fake miracle and then the lady was not paid. And then after service, the lady went back there. She wanted to make miracles. There's a lot. A lot of miracles that people see on TV. They're all fake. Not a lot, but 99% of the miracles you see on TV, they are fake. Very free. Very, very fake. Very fake. Hmm. Just before uh, the just before the before the resurrection miracle took place, a man, a, a, a somebody was brought to church. Somebody was brought to church, and the person was dead, and the family was believing God for a miracle before Elliot was resurrected. And Bishop Jackie is the one who went out to attend to the person who was brought to church. And they said, no, we cannot pray for this person. Then you must come, you, 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 must, you, must, you must take the person to the hospital and stuff like that. And Bishop Jackie was out there swearing, using the F words to swear. That bishop you see there, Jacqueline. I see somebody saying that, uh, please stop mentioning names. No, no. I've, I've, I've gotten to a point where I don't care what will happen next. The point where I am now, I don't care what will happen next. For the sake of the souls out there, souls must be saved and souls must be delivered. If they charge me for defamation of character, you can only defame a character that is clean with lies. These are not lies that I'm speaking. This is the truth. So let us begin to uh, count to all those who are doubting Thomas's and everything. Pamela Y miracle was fake. That's number one. The resurrection miracle was fake. That is number two. 
The pastor who was brought to church and they said that this pastor was fighting uh, uh, the pastor and then after this pastor was fighting our pastor, uh, the pastor went into a problem and then when she went into a problem, uh, 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 na, 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 uh, now she has come back to the church to apologize. That pastor was paid. It was fake. Go and look for the name of that pastor. Look for the name of the church of that pastor. You will never find it anywhere. He was paid. They took him, they took him to Lindest, to the house in Lindest for rehearsals. house. They cleaned him, uh, they cleaned him, they cleaned him, they cleaned him up nicely. It's English, sorry. They cleaned him up nicely. After cleaning him nicely, they put a suit on him, they cut his hair nicely, and then they sent him to church. Now he's in church putting a suit. He looks like a man of God. And then the charlatan comes. He begins to say, I'm hearing. I'm, it's a fake. It's fake. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. Those are all lies. There's another woman who was prophesied that she had a moving snake in her body. And that she went to a sangoma and she was told to use a white person's hair. To all those who were there at the time who remember this prophecy. Yeah. That prophecy was recorded by a woman called Totliso during, a, 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 during counseling. The woman came for counseling, and when the woman came for counseling, Totliso is the one who was recording the, 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 the thing. Totliso was recording and recording and recording, and then Totliso took the recording to the, to the pastor. And the pastor listened to it. The pastor came and prophesied to this woman in church that you have got a movie snake in your body and this and this is happening and whatnot and this and that. And then after the, the prophecy was done, live in church, after the prophecy was done live in church, that woman came back the following day. When she saw that the prophecy was put out on YouTube, when she saw that the prophecy went out there, the woman was fuming and said, no, 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 no. You cannot uh, 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 put me out there like that. Because most of these things that you were, in fact, all these things that were prophesied to, about me in church, these are things that I told you in, uh, 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 in counseling. A whole Sunday service was pulled down simply because uh, 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 their lies were catching up with them. Pamela Y must be found. The friend must be found. And they must be interrogated. How much were you paid to come and lie about even the name Pamela? You will find that that was not her name. The day of the Pamela White prophecy, I was there in that church. Look for the video. You will see me sitting right in front wearing a Gucci suit. I was there. Sitting right in front wearing a Gucci suit and I was even falling asleep. I was there. That was a fake prophecy. Very fake. Very, very fake. <clears throat> yeah. So, I want you to know, sorry about that. I want you to know that a... Uh, all these people, they are part of the scam. They are all working closely with the scam. That is why the media department, the media department of that church works very closely together like this with that pastor because nothing goes out until he approves it. Yeah. Nothing goes out until he approves. There are people who are suffering People who are suffering under the subjection of this guy, under the subjection of this pastor. And I want them to know that my name is J. Israel and they cannot do nothing to me. They can't. Together with their assassins, together with their thieves and everybody that they can try to hire to come against me, they can't do nothing to me. If you think what I'm saying is a lie, then believe your belief and doubt your doubt. Right. The one where the man went to a sangoma and the wife called him from church 
the men then came in church in the third service. If you listen to the accent of that prophecy of the man who was called uh, the wife, who, the man who went to the Sangoma, then the wife was in church and stuff. If you listen to the accent, those are Zimbabweans. This guy uses our fellow, my, my fellow Zimbabwean brothers and sisters to go and fake miracles because he knows that they are desperate for money. And when he's done with Zimbabweans, he will go to a, a Uvel and he will take all those uh, South African people who are living in those, uh, 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 a, a, you know, or, or those a less privileged uh, South Africans, he will go and take those ones because he knows that they are desperate for money. Then he will tell them, just come and act, and then after you act, you'll be paid. The proof is there on the internet. The proof is there on his YouTube uh, channel. And to all those that they are prophesying even right now during lockdown, they have got branches everywhere. And most of this information that they prophesy here in Joburg, it comes from the branches. Some of it, it comes from prayer requests that are sent by people. Some of it, it comes from people's Facebook, uh, 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 Facebook uh, 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 platforms. They research deeply up until uh, they come. I mean, th that's all that they do for a living. So you make sure that he researches before he goes to sit there, you know, to lie to people. Some of us asked for Pamela's uh, details because we wanted to help here with the so-called business and they said they couldn't find your details yet they record details of everyone it's true pamela why must be found the pastor who was prophesied must be found the woman whose panty was bent must be found i'm calling upon the crl to have a look a deep look at the at the at the at the information that i'm bringing out right here Look into it deeply. You cannot allow such an issue to just go to rest just like that. This was an international scam. An international scam that was everywhere. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody was talking about it. Even CNN reported about this a, a scam. And then CRL would just sit down and relax as if nothing happened. No, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Elliot was from Zimbabwe. Most of the people they hire, they are all from Zimbabwe. Even the same person, the, the lady who was a, a cold and then the husband was in the shrine with the Sangoma, that's a Zimbabwean lady. You can hear that this is a Zimbabwean woman who's, who's trying to foster to speak a Zulu. Even the ten round with needles and the dead chicken in church, everything was arranged and brought to the church. Everything was arranged and it was brought to the church. This is not a lie. This is not a lie. This is the truth. Let us go back. Let us go back and begin to research. When did this man start uh, prophesying? Because I know some of the pastors that he used to be with. And they're all saying... We never used to know this man as a prophet. We never used to know this man as somebody who prophesies. When did he start prophesying like this? When did he start prophesying the way that he's prophesying right now? When? When did he start prophesying? Go and, have your, go and do your research. Go back and do your research. You realize that this is reality. This man was preaching all his life, doing business all his life. Then all of a sudden, he's raising people from the wheelchairs. Ah. All of a sudden, he's prophesying to people. Ah. All of a sudden, he has become the most anointed prophet even under the, whole, uh, 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 under the sun. Everybody uh, 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 actually uh, uh, thinks he's now the only prophet. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. There's something wrong. There's something wrong that has to be investigated. They used to bring ambulances to church. All that stopped. Why did it stop? Because they knew. They knew that they were. Um, they knew that they were. They were guilty. They were guilty. I've never. I've never heard of a miracle that has to be defended in the courts, for it to be proven that is true. 
A miracle is a miracle. If somebody was raised from the dead and the person was dead, let the person come and testify simple. Why do we have to go to the court? Why do we have to go through the courts and then the newspapers and then whatnot? Ah, come on, guys. Why would you allow yourselves to be fooled like this? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. So why would you allow yourselves to be fooled? For what reasons? Let me put it on record. Let me put it on record right here. Let me put it on record right here. Let me put it on record right here on this uh, broadcast. Many people think that, oh, no, Jay Israel, no, 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 no. Some of the things that I'm coming to speak here, these are things that I would have called them to say, listen, guys, don't do this. But because of the lack of their sense, they can't think properly. Very old people put together, all of them, they are, they are, they are, they are old enough to be my uncles and my grandfathers, and they are old enough to be my great-grandfathers. But they can't think well here. They can't. I see some people say, why didn't you go? I could, I could have gone to them to sit down with them to say, guys, this is what you are doing and it is wrong. But I can't. Because Jackie, that Bishop Jackie, posted in their pastor's group sometime last year. Posted in the pastor's group. I was, I'm, not in the, in, I'm not in the pastor's group. I am not in that pastor's group. But I have my people, I have my eyes and my ears in that pastor's group, even up to now. I still have my people, even up to now, who update me of every dirty thing that they are planning against me, who update me of every nonsense that they will plan against me. I am well updated. I am well updated. I could have gone there last year to go and talk to them, but Bishop Jackie, Jacqueline, the colored bishop, the lady who speaks on the microphone, she sent a message and she said, if I see J. Israel in the basement, I'm going to make sure that I'll beat the hell out of J. Israel in the basement. Why would I risk my life to go to a place like that where I'm being promised that if I'm seen there, I'll be beaten? Why? So we we'll use this platform to communicate. We use this platform to communicate. These are not women of God. These are not men of God. These are charlatans. They are charlatans masquerading as prophets, as apostles, as pastors, and as bishops. You don't deserve those titles. You don't deserve those titles at all. You don't deserve those titles at all. One of your bishops just got married now to some rich lady from your church. This uh, short bishop here, the one with bald head, just got married to some rich uh, woman in your church. And the marriage was a setup. It was a, the, the woman doesn't know that she was set up for that marriage. <laughs> she was set up for that marriage. She was set up for that marriage. We want to try and understand, what does the Bible say about a bishop? That's what we want to understand. What does the Bible say about a bishop? Is a bishop allowed to send some threats to somebody who's preaching the gospel? Right. First Timothy chapter 3, verse number 2. The Bible says, A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, already a, a, a TK does not... A, 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 a fall under the, the criteria and the category of the bishops because he is not a, he is not he is not a bishop he's a charlatan a bishop then must be blameless the husband of one wife so before we can call TK a bishop he must make sure that he chooses between the two women in fact the three women his wife the one he married recently 
and the one that you got pregnant. He just got pregnant, uh, Malaika, the one who's watching now. She got pregnant. Malaika has got uh, recordings of Bishop TK asking her to say, please go and abort the child. What kind of a bishop is that? Doesn't deserve to be a bishop. So what does the Bible say? A bishop then must be blameless. A husband of one wife. Already TK uh, 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 does not fall under that uh, uh, category. Vigilant, sober. Most of those bishops, they are drunkards. They drink serious drunkards. Drink like no man's, uh, no man's bishop, uh, 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 no man's business. Of good behavior, given to hospitality. Does Jackie has a good hospitality? She doesn't have hospitality. She does not deserve to be called a bishop. Not given to wine. So does the Jobbik pastor deserve to be called a pastor? No, he doesn't. Does he deserve to be called an apostle? No, he doesn't. What is he? He's a charlatan. Not greedy or filthy, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. What kind of a, 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 a gospel? What kind of a gospel that a, 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 the Jobbik pastor is preaching? It is a covetous gospel. So he does not a, a deserve to be called a man of God. He's a charlatan, he's a jackal, he's a fox, and he's an armed robber. He's a thief. That's what he is. And as you go down, 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 you begin to understand what does the Bible say about a, a, a bishop? A bishop, what does the Bible say about somebody who's an elder in the church? What does the Bible say about somebody who's a leader in the church? We have to refer it back to the scriptures. The Bible says, One that ruleth well his own house. How can a man be standing on the altar to say he is a bishop? He cannot rule his own house well, but he stands there to say I'm a bishop. How can a man be standing there to say I'm an apostle? I'm an apostle of the, of the supreme anointing. What supreme anointing? I carry the supreme anointing. I carry the what, what, and the, there's nothing like that. These are illusions that they are creating in their minds. These are illusions that they are creating in their minds. They are not from God. They were not called by God. These are robbers. They are thieves. They are foxes. The Bible says, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into condemnation. Okay, so now going back to verse number five, the Bible says, how shall he take care of the church of God if he cannot take care of his own house? Just last year after the resurrection saga, the wife of the Jobek pastor, a script was written for her to say, this is how we would like you to speak in this way about your husband. Why would a woman who is happy, happily married, Happy in a in a in a in a in a happy in a in a, in, a, in a, you know in a marriage. Why would a woman who is happily married be given a you know be given a, a, a what do you call it a script? Why would a woman who is happily married be given a script to say this is how you must speak about your husband? Tell them how nice your husband is. Tell them how good he is. Tell them listen. These are thieves. These are thieves. Go back to the video of Elliot. On that video, go and see if the wife of the Jobbik pastor was celebrating together with others who were celebrating the, 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 the Elliot miracle. Then you will get to know that surely, surely, there's something wrong. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise, must the deacons be a brave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy or filthy lucre, um, holding the mystery of faith, and let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. That's what the Bible says. That's what the scripture says. That is what the Bible says. Hmm. I see Malaika says that she has got an audio where Bussi was saying that uh, T 
TK uh, 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 was bought a multi-million rand house by the woman that he just recently married. It's there. Malaika has it. Not me. It is there. You see? Wives of these charlatans are suffering. They can't speak out. Wives of these charlatans are suffering. They can't speak out. They can't. They can't speak out anywhere. They can't. They can't cry to nobody because they are told that you must keep quiet. I'm going for prayer. That time is going to, to sleep with other women. I never used to believe it at first up until I witnessed it. Happening live on somebody's phone. Yeah. Happening live on somebody's phone. I never used to be, at first, because I had so much faith in this man. I said, this is a man of God. This is a man of God. Serious man of God. He's a true man of God. When one girl approached me at some time, said, no, this is what is happening. I said, no, no, you are, you are attacking the man of God. You don't know what you're talking about. Up until I witnessed it, one married woman told me clearly, married woman, one married woman, I said married woman, told me clearly, Ah, I was shocked. I started recording the conversation because I wanted to take the conversation to him to say, listen to this one. Listen to this. I went there and said, please listen to what this lady is saying. I don't understand. I don't understand what this lady is saying. I wanted to take the, the audio to him so that he can listen to it. But unfortunately, before it could get there, it was already messed up, you know. I recorded the woman, very married. This is a woman who is very married, by the way, very, very married. And I see her attacking me on social media. I'm just uh, sitting down and I'm keeping the receipts. The voice, the audio message that I have of this woman telling me how they used to meet in a, 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 a Michelangelo, how they met in Michelangelo, you will get to Michelangelo, then the hotel is booked under John Ferguson. It's there on the recording. If they, if it's there on the recording. It's there on the recording. How they used to meet at the hotel. Then when they get to the hotel, the hotel is booked under John Ferguson. John Ferguson is that white, is that white boy. The white boy uh, whose, whose, whose name is everywhere on the church document, everything. He's like, the, he's like the boss of the church. That's him. So that lady told me that I used to go to the uh, penthouse uh, we would meet at the penthouse. Then he would give me chocolates because he likes chocolates. He's very romantic. And then we, we will go downstairs to his bedroom. And then we'll get there. Uh, we'll have sex. And then afterwards, uh, we'll have sex again. And then afterwards, we'll have sex again. And then afterwards, we'll, you know, we'll enjoy ourselves. And then you'll come out with wine and then uh, 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 chocolates and whatnot and stuff. I'm listening and I'm recording. Where do I enter? Where you were eating chocolates and having fun. How do I enter there? You see? Yeah. Then we were, Then he called me to Michelangelo. He said, when you get to Michelangelo, when you get there, the hotel will be booked under John Ferguson. Just get there. You say you are going to John Ferguson. That time, there's a big man waiting up there. Lazarus pastor himself. Yeah. You see? Hmm. One day she called my brother, the, the woman I'm talking about. The woman that I'm talking about, the one who's married, the one who's sleeping with the Jobek pastor. After sleeping with the Jobek pastor, you see her posing together with the, with the wife of the Jobek pastor coming out to say, oh no, me and my mother, this is my spiritual mother. One day I asked her a question, I said, how do you feel when you take a picture with your spiritual mother? Uh, yet you know that you, you, last night you were sleeping with the spiritual father. Today you are taking a picture with the spiritual mother. How do you feel? Our, our relationship became sour. She didn't want to see me from that day because I reprimanded her. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah. This is reality. This is reality. After I'm done with what I'm doing, uh, I thank God that uh, between now and the next 24 hours, 
I'll be nowhere to be found in this country called South Africa. <laughs> you are going to try to look for me. You will not find me in this country. You will not find me in this country called South Africa. I know. You are going to send your... You are going to send your assassins. You will send your... Whatever that you are going to send. You will send your lawsuits. They will find nothing. You will try to sue me. Your lawsuits... I, I, last night, my security... Eh, 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 my security here at home told me that they noted some funny movements of some funny cars outside the house. I told them, shoot to kill. Anyone who tries to come up and do nonsense in this house, at the gate, anywhere around this place, shoot them. Don't spare them. Shoot. Yeah. So, in the next 24 hours, I'll be speaking from a different country. <laughs> so, yeah. The chocolate pastors and the and the chocolate women and the and the Michelangelo uh, married women. I told them last year and I said, listen, you need to be very careful. One, your people not to attack me on social media. They did not listen. I told them, one, your people, tell them not to attack me on social media. They did not listen to me. They were gallivanting on social media, your JP, your Bosi, your, your, your Anaso, and all these boys and all these girls. They were talking nonsense on social media. Talking nonsense everywhere on social media, coming up guns blazing at me before I even uh, uh, started doing what I'm doing now. I warned them last year. I gave them a warning. I said, stop what you are doing. You don't know what you are... Well, you don't know... Please stop attacking me. Stop. Don't... Please don't do what you are doing. Please don't... Don't do this. Please don't... Uh, they, they did not listen. I tried it again early this year. I said, guys, I don't have anything against you. Can you please stop attacking me the way that you are attacking me? They did not listen. Recently again, you know... Recently again, I told them, guys, stop attacking me. Stop attacking me. They did not listen. They did not listen. JP went out and told me that he's coming after me. I said, no problem. Let, uh, 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 let it begin. Let it begin. Yeah, I told them, shoot. Anyone who tries to intrude in my house, shoot them. Anyone who's sent as an intruder to come and do whatever, shoot because we are licensed for that. We are licensed for that one. There's a license to shoot. We shoot intruders because we are protecting ourselves. It is simple like that. If you deal with criminals, you must have a criminal mindset. You cannot deal with a, 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 a armed robbers with nice words. You can't. You deal with armed robbers in an armed robbery way. Because they think they are the only ones who know how to be, uh, uh, how to play a uh, 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 dirty and all that. <laughs> Welcome to your perfect match. I'm telling you. I will not spare any of you this year. I will not spare anybody this year. So that woman is having an affair with him. No wonder she's always on about my dad. That's not my dad. It's not like that. It's not dead. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not dead. It's daddy. It's daddy. Not no 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 it's not daddy. It's daddy. Yeah. It's daddy. That's why you see the the the, the, the kind of money that you get that woman there, you, you'll be surprised. That is why she's sticking around. She will not go anywhere. She will always be there. My father, this my father is a prophet. You know your father is, is a fake prophet. <laughs> you know your father is a false prophet. You know your father is even using you to get information even from people. You know that your father is sleeping with you, but you are still going on Facebook to lie to people that my father is a true man of God. We shall see. We shall see. I just thank God because... Uh, I just thank God because after this live broadcast, come after me, you will not find me. <laughs> come after me you won't find me anyway i know that i know that uh, this general is from deben 
and I've heard that he's been trying to communicate with some people here in Deben, some, uh, uh, some, some hitmen here in Deben. He's be the general there, yeah, that one from, from, from the Santin Church. He's been trying to communicate with some hitmen here in Deben. Uh, uh, but unfortunately, now the problem is that J. Israel, as long as I'm in my house, I don't go anywhere. So you will never even find me anywhere. And even if you get to my house, for you to get to my bedroom, huh? You have to pass a, 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 a various security checkpoints for you to get to where I am. So please, just relax your mind and know that you, you, you will not touch me. <laughs> you will not touch me. <laughs> you will not touch me. It will not happen. I warned you. I gave you a warning. And I said, leave me alone. You refused. I said, leave me alone. You refused. Now you have created fake accounts. You are implicating people who've got nothing to do with what I am doing. Going there to spread lies and going there to post lies and everything. I know your fake accounts. It's you, JP. It's you, Pastor Ben. It's you, Bussi. And you, Anaso. I know all of you. You are there. You are, you are, you are, you know. You are ganging up in those fake accounts there to talk nonsense about me. <laughs> I see Tutalini says, I know you are already out of SA. <laughs> Don't come and talk things you don't know yet, Tutaleni. Keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, I know they've been trying to communicate with some hitmen in Deben to come to come and uh, take my life, but ah, uh, <laughs> you find nothing. You find nothing. This is the revolution. This is the revolution of the gospel. The gospel must be preached without compromise. The gospel must be preached without compromise. You know, we, we will not compromise the gospel because there are some charlatans who are busy, eh, 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 who think that they've got money to buy everyone in this country. Uh, not, no, not this time around. I want the CRL to do a proper investigation into your matter. And I want the CRL, I'm calling upon the CRL. If anyone working with the CRL comes across this message, I am calling upon you. Invite the Jobek pastor. Invite him. Invite him. Sit down with him. Yeah. Sit down with him. Invite him. And sit down with him. When you sit down with him, ask him, where is Elliot? Was that a miracle? It was not. Put everything on video. Put everything on video. Let everything be recorded. Let everything be recorded in such a way that eh, 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 we must know what really happened, what really transpired. What really transpired. I see somebody says, no hands on J. Israel. Once he goes missing, we will all deal with you. Yes. And let me put it on record also here on this platform. If you hear that I wake up in the morning with a headache, you must know it is that Jobek pastor. It is that general, the hitman. If you wake up in the morning, you hear that uh, I was in an accident, it is them. If anything ever happens to me, it is them. If anything touches me, it is them. If what anything that will happen to me, you must know that it is them. They are the ones who have been trying to silence me from speaking. But this time around, you are playing on a, a very, 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 a, 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 you know, deep deep you are playing at the deep end and i'm pulling you with me to the deep end we'll see who's going to fall inside the, the inside the deep end so yeah as i've said as i've said uh, i know wherever you are you're already planning your tricks because today uh, you, it, it, all of you you are all scammers you are all scammers yeah scam <laughs> it, it, it's not scam it's scam <laughs> All of you, you're all scammers. The Johannesburg team, all of you, the whole crew, scam. You are all part of the scam. I'm saying this because I also used to be part of, I also used to be part of you guys. So I know how you operate. <laughs> I know how you operate. I know how you operate. Nobody will touch you, man of God. Oh, that's definite. Nobody will touch me. If, if, if they could touch me, they would have touched me a long time ago. But not, not now. Yeah. 
Not now. I'm telling you. And here we are still talking about just the shallow, shallow things. You know, this, these are shallow stuff of miracles. We are not yet talking about the illegal dealings that are done in that place that they call a church. We are not yet talking about the illegal dealings that they, are, uh, that they do there. We are not yet talking about the women that they've raped. You know, we are not yet talking about all the women that they've abused. We are not yet uh, uh, talking about the women, uh, uh, all the women's stories that are happening there. We are not yet talking about those things. We are still on the shallow, shallow side of things. So they must relax. If they have coffee, let them take some coffee, sit down, relax, and enjoy the ride. Because it is going to be a very long one. <laughs> you can't touch me. You can't. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. Why were you using your surname before? Because I was naive. Probably just like some of the people who are here uh, right now. They were also as naive as I was. They are also as naive as I was. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm still touching on, you know, shallow, shallow stuff. We are still going to enter to the illegal dealings. All the illegal things that were covered the women, the, you know, yeah. They must rot in prison. They must rot in jail. Me, I'm not Solomon, by the way. <laughs> I'm not Solomon. I'm not Solomon that you threatened with uh, lawsuits. And you sent him lawsuits again and again. And, he was, you, and, and for the sake of his family, he decided to keep quiet. For the sake of his family. Not that he's afraid of you. But for the sake of his family, he decided to slow down on you. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Me, I'm like wind. <laughs> I'm like wind. Yeah. As you, as you are still thinking that I'm blowing here, you will find out that I'm already blowing on the other side. As you think I'm blowing on the other side, you find me blowing on the other side. Me, I'm not like that. I am not like all those people. I'm not like that. I'm not like, I'm not like Solomon. You know, you sent lawsuits to Solomon again and again. You, you sent him things and you sent him stuff and you, you sent him lawyers to silence him, to make him keep quiet. You know, Solomon must keep quiet. Solomon, you will try again and then they'll send more lawsuits. Uh, not me. <laughs> not me, gentlemen. Not me. Here, you have met your match. You have met your match this time. You have met your match. Oh, don't worry. Where I am, I'm very safe. Where I am, I'm very, very safe. I'm very, very safe. I'm very, very safe where I am. I'm not even afraid, you know. That is why I'm speaking the way I'm speaking. Mm. I'm not afraid at all. Don't talk online about your trip and projects, please. Oh, no one can do nothing. Even if I tell them where I am now and tell them to and invite them, they can't, they can't do nothing. You know, I can. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They can't do nothing. 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 I'm not like, uh, you know, all these other uh, guys who came out of your church and the next time, the next thing they wanted to speak and you silenced them with money. I don't touch dirty money. I don't eat dirty money. I don't eat blood money. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat blood money. Yeah. That wise man, the general there, the one who pretends to be from a, a South Africa, he's a Zimbabwean just like me. He's a Zimbabwean just like me. We are both from Zimbabwe, me and general. The two of us, we are from Zimbabwe. So don't allow some, some, some guy from Congo to come here and use you against your brother. I am your brother. <laughs> I am your homeboy. Yeah, I am your homeboy. That wise man is from Zimbabwe, I know. He's in Debele. I am your homeboy, brother. So don't allow some guy from Congo, some Congolese charlatan, to come and use you against your brother. It will not work. By the way, tomorrow we are meeting for our midweek service. Uh, our midweek service. Uh, we are meeting tomorrow for our midweek service. I'm praying by the special grace of God that uh, by tomorrow morning, um, our, 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 our setup for our new place, 
the, where we are going to be broadcasting from uh, will be done by tomorrow so that we can uh, 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 do our midweek service uh, in Jesus' mighty name. So please pray for me and pray together with me uh, because it is, a, it, is, it is a long road. This is a journey that I have embarked. I'm fully set for the journey. I'm fully ready for the journey. So, yeah. So, you know, I'm fully ready for the journey. So they must relax and enjoy and know that uh, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I've been in touch with a lot of people from overseas, a lot of people from South Africa, a lot of people from um, America, a lot of people from Europe, a lot of people from UK, a lot of people from uh, 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 Canada, different countries. We have traveled to come to the church of this charlatan here in, in, in Jobek. I see somebody says, I'm shocked that you are from Zimbabwe. Yeah, I'm from Zimbabwe, born and bred in Zimbabwe. Born and bred in Zimbabwe. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so I've been in touch with a lot of people. Uh, they've been telling me their stories. They've been appreciating me for the work I'm doing, telling me that, listen, uh, you know, what you're saying is very true. I have witnessed all these things you are saying. I have, you know, I, I've, I've seen everything. I know what you are saying. I know what you are talking about. Everything that you are bringing to light, it is actually the truth. Uh, we have witnessed this. We have witnessed this. We have witnessed that, you know, so... Ayewa, Muzandi Chikira Romana. Indina ayewa antikwate, atikwati iswe. Atikwati iswe ne madinga. Muzandi Chikira boys. Muzandi Chikira Romana. Atikwati iswe jokumanya. I'm responding to my Zimbabwean brothers and sisters who are watching. Atikwati iswe jokumanya. Atikwati iswe ne madinga. Atikwati iswe ne matsaga. Matsaga wanawa. Gawache, Chikatwa pise. 2020, wacha, kushika wati baba ni murizo. Hatisikuwa siya. Tukuramba taka zanya chepakati. Wago tidi. Hapana za wanotita. Hapana za wanotita. I'm responding to my Zimbabwean brothers and sisters. You know, I'm probably, they're probably hearing me speak Shona for the first time. <laughs> yeah, so, so it is well. Uh, it is well. God bless you guys. God bless you. Uh, God bless you. It was nice having you on this uh, on this platform. If you have any questions that you wanna uh, pop, any questions you wanna drop, drop your questions so that I can uh, quickly respond. And I want everyone to know who is part of this a uh, 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 cult in Jobek, was part of this a uh, cult here in Johannesburg. Everybody was part of this a uh, uh, system, this Johannesburg system of stealing people's monies, this Johannesburg system of uh, scamming people of their hard-earned cash. I want all of you to know uh, right there in Jobek that this is the time. This is the time for you to run for your life. I'm doing this for you. Run for your life before it is too late. Run for your life. There are a lot of your brothers and sisters who are getting in touch with me. They are already saying, men of God, what you are saying is actually very true. But we are just afraid of speaking out. So I want you to know that, uh, yeah. Ati zidi, gaziende, zigoenda, ziende. Yeah, titit gama potato. Apana zamuno tita. So, God bless you guys. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all with the love of God. And let's meet tomorrow for our midweek service. Hopefully by tomorrow, our setup and everything will be done uh, from our place where we are going to be broadcasting from, from tomorrow. Uh, uh, hopefully, if it's not yet done, I'm going to update you and let you know um, what time we are going to be live and what time we're going to be broadcasting uh, and when and how. So the Lord bless you. I'm not seeing any questions. I'm not seeing anything <clears throat> right here. So I think it's time for me to go. It's time for me to vamos. <laughs> uh, Joy Abraham says, what you're saying is true. I am a witness. That's very correct. 
uh, Peter Ojuku says, what you're doing is not easy. It takes a real man to stand up and say the truth. I salute you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, when Bushiri said it's going to be a great year, he meant Jay is going to do this without knowing. <laughs> you know, it's a great, it's a great year. <laughs> okay, please, guys, let's support Jay Israel with his ministry. Please, we know the word of God. Let us celebrate with him. God is very faithful. Thank you so much, uh, Sheila. God bless you. Um, Catherine, remove here your stupidity. This is God using this man. Jay, add more volume. I want to <clears throat> I would like to ask you, men of God, how can you recognize fake prophets? I am shocked. Oh, that means you are a newcomer. <laughs> can somebody advise our sister there what to do, where to go, so that uh, she can know how to, uh, how to identify fake prophets? Okay. And uh, just for the record, I hear that there's a guy from Zimbabwe. Uh, Milton Hosea said, when I saw it in Santin, I was afraid to ask you. Milton, what were you afraid to ask? Write it down, let's see. Dio Leonard M. Tepaire says, send your account details. Uh, to all those who want my account details, I'm not going to flash them on Facebook. If you want my account details, get in touch with me, DM me, send me a direct message and I'll, I'll respond to you. So the, I heard there's a guy from Zimbabwe who posted uh, something today. I understand that they are having a family feud, a family fight or something in Zimbabwe. I don't know what's happening in Zimbabwe there. My sister from Zimbabwe sent me a message and said, my brother, please, we need you. You are our family. Don't involve yourself in these issues. I said, what issues? And then she told me that there's a guy from Zimbabwe who posted on Facebook uh, that uh, he is going to be inviting me, that he spoke to me. Uh, about an interview and is going to be inviting me to an interview uh, to come and talk about uh, false prophets and stuff like that. I mean, I want you to know that I'm, I'm not aware of that. I'm not in contact with anyone from Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm not in contact with anyone from Zimbabwe. I've not spoken to any guy who is from Zimbabwe to be doing an interview with me. If I want to interview, I interview myself. Inter if I want an interview, I interview myself. I interview myself. So, yeah. You need to do a part two uh, of today's broadcast. Definitely, this is not the beginning. This is just, oh, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. You see, from where I am now, I'm not scared of anything. I can speak and even mention their names. You know, I'm not even afraid because they are thieves. They are thieves. Milton Hosea says, I told you something about someone and the next thing, he was prophesied exactly what I told you, but somehow I knew you told him. Oh, yeah, that's very true. That is very, very true, Milton. That's very correct what you are saying. You, you were just an innocent guy who didn't know nothing about what was going on there. I see some people trying to attack you and say stuff. You, you have never been part of anything that I've been doing. You've just been a, a, a following innocently without really an understanding of what happens where and how. I also want to talk about a certain brother of mine as well, a uh, prophet, uh, who was also a prophet as well. Uh, in fact, let me talk about him in the, next, uh, in the next broadcast. So yeah, from where I am, I'm not afraid. I'm not even afraid of anything. They can do whatever they want to do. Uh, they will not touch me. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. So I saw somebody who posted and said, he is going to be doing an interview with me in Zimbabwe. Please go and tell that guy, to delete that post because I'm not aware of what he's talking about. I don't know anything about me being interviewed in Zimbabwe. If I want an interview, I come and sit here on this live broadcast and I interview myself. I ask myself a question and I respond to it. For example, Jay, uh, what happened to Elliot? Here's my response. Go and ask uh, Alf Lukau in Johannesburg. He's the one who knows what happened to Elliot. Jay, uh, are you sure we must ask him? Oh, no, no, no. This is my response. Ask another guy called Ben, Pastor Ben Mwepu. Pa ask another guy called Pastor Ben Mwepu. And ask a, a lady from Zimbabwe called a, a, a Brenda. Those were the masterminds behind the Elliot story. The more information and everything will come in the, in the following broadcast. So God bless you. The Lord bless you. So as you can see, if I want to interview myself, I can do it by myself. 
The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. I love you all with the love of God. God bless you.